Trevor here again from Irish Whiskey Auctions. Uh, today we're going to cover a few different bottles um, that would be interesting investments if you're looking to put some money into whiskey. Um, so we've been featuring a few bottles over the last couple of days in different videos and uh, we're just looking at shelves and seeing what we have coming in every month and what people are asking for. And then we're going to just walk through each bottle and we'll explain why they may be good bottles to invest in if you see them come up in an auction. Um, so, Again, most of this week has been heavy Middleton, and there is very good reasons for that. They've been around essentially the longest. They do some great releases. Uh, some of their presentations are fantastic. So, for instance, this is a great buy at the moment with its current pricing. So, over here is a vintage Jemison. And so, there's three, technically four, but three main releases for this bottle. So this is a mixture of some of the oldest Jemison whiskey Middleton had at the time, and they blended it into a sort of ultra premium blend. Uh, it was released in 20, 2007, 2009, and 2015. Um, the interesting thing is that it comes in two different style presentations. It comes in this carbon box, which I find the prettiest. And it also comes in a very attractive rosewood red style box, which again is quite popular. The interesting thing about this, and what a lot of people don't realize is that both uh, 20, 2007, 2009, and 2015 are essentially all the same whiskey. They were just bottled at different times. So I know people like to collect these, and uh, people like to drink them. And if you're looking for 2007 and you stumble across 2015 in the auction, you're essentially drinking the same whiskey. But it's a different presentation, it was bottled at a different time. And the prices are fairly consistent with whichever year it was released, so it doesn't really matter what you pick up. Uh, great whiskey, I have tried it myself, fantastic, it's worth every bit of money that you spend on it. Um, at one time these were going for sort of anywhere from 5500 or way up to 800 Um Last couple of months they're actually been on a little bit of a dip, so they're cheap to buy now. So you're getting for about 500 now, give or take, which I think is a fantastic buy. Uh, I could well see these being a thousand euros bottle in the not too distant future because it's rare, it's Jemison. It, you know, it's got everything going for it. Like it's a well-recognized brand. It's a fantastic whiskey. A lot of these have been opened and enjoyed. So the supply of them is dwindling. Uh, you can't get them at retail anymore, unfortunately, but you can pick them up fairly regularly through the auctions. So that's a great buy, I think, at the moment. Um, and one that will, again, look fantastic on any display and will hold its value, you know? Um, over here is a little something different. This is a green spot. This is the, one of the original 12-year-old green spots from Mitchells and Sons. Uh, this is a cast strength, it's 58%. They only made 200 of these bottles. Uh, and again, it's a little quirky, this presentation. It's a little uh, far off from what you'll get these days. Um, you'll not see a wooden box with a green spot anytime soon into the future because of sort of the green initiative by IBL and, um, and with a lot of their bottles now coming tubeless as well. So it's, again, it's a bit different and um, fantastic. There's only a couple of hundred bottles of it, very hard to find. Uh, and they do quite well at auction as well. Um, this one over here is, let's move this over here to the side for a minute. Uh, this is the Dreamcast 32 year old. The Redbreast Dreamcast collection has been one of the best performing Irish collectible whiskies for the last five or so years. Um, believe it or not, it took a, about two, uh, it took an entire day for the original Red Vest 32 year old to sell out online. Uh, there was no ballot system, you just clicked on, bought whatever you wanted. Um, I can't recall the exact price, but it was probably in the region of about four or 500 euros to buy at the time. I think it was around four something for a 32 year old pot still Red Vest whiskey that was very cheap back in the day. But this was the first release, this was the first in the series from the Dreamcast collection. And um, no one really foresaw how popular it would become. And that's why it sort of took a little slower than the rest to sell out. Uh, unfortunately, all the others were mostly ballot releases as well. Um, they do about eight to 900 bottles of this uh, every year or so when they do release it. Um, the last few releases, you've had to sign up, you've had to give your bank details, the whole works, just to be able to get a chance to get lucky enough to win a ballot in order to give red breast money, which is crazy, but that's what people have to do to get one of these bottles these days. Um, alternatively, you can get on them on our auction. We usually have most of the Dreamcast selection each and every month, um, very desirable bottle. It's heavily traded, you see it in a lot of auction sites. And um, this one here has done fantastic since its release. Um, 
again it came with two glasses as well so it's got two copper rounded glasses here as you can see again in very attractive uh, set there as well uh, none of the rest came with any glassware uh, so they just came in their regular little sacks or the later edition were books we used to have one or two up here i don't know where they've gone but yeah they're there uh, you'll see them on the auction um 32 year old is still the oldest release they've done so far the youngest was the 20 year old px um, and then you had your 28 your, your 29 your 30 year old releases and um, they practically double value overnight so if you're lucky to get one at all, uh, through the ballot you're, you're, you're doing well uh, you can pick them up at auction for pretty sensible money and um, something like this it's not crazy to think it's going to be a four or five thousand euro ball in the near future these are being opened and drank still and people have drank a lot of them over the years they were cheap compared to a lot of other whiskies at the time and um, and it was the first of its release so it kind of flew under the radar a little bit as well so again if you could pick one of those up at the moment they'll set you back about three anywhere from 2800 to 3200 is kind of an optimum price to pay for one at auction i think it's a great little investment um, and if you've got the money they're also fantastic to open and drink and enjoy as well um this one here you might not see it clearly this one is not something you see every day um and it is super rare again trying to also talk about what what is out there other than irish distillers products and middleton products this is a green or 19 year old single cask this was done for the irish whiskey collection and we talked about these earlier in the week as well this is an airport exclusive it's a 19 year old green or single grain and it's fantastic if you if you see one of these somewhere do pick it up uh, green oil is you know, it, it, it's got a reputation for producing, you know, green or single grains were some of the best single grains ever produced, hands down. And um, they really push the part of, you know, what, how good single grain Irish whiskey can be, you know, as a standalone spirit by itself without being blended in with something else, you know. And uh, the eight year olds were very popular, still are. Uh, there was also a limited edition six year old you often see. Uh, they did rebrand this. From the green oil until the and they renamed it to Kilbegan. Um, but this 19 year old single cast was just a once off release with Irish whiskey collection. And um, if you do see them, they do command a lot of money. But again, it's something that will probably slowly appreciate and at least hold its value in the future as well. So, again, that's a, another interesting option. Um, then we're going to cover this. So, if any of you have never seen this before, we looked at its. Um, younger sister yesterday we looked at the 20th anniversary this is the 30th anniversary this is the middleton pearl there was 117 bottles of this made for the 30th anniversary of the middleton very rare collection it is a stunning bottle it doesn't look like anything else they've ever released and um, the presentation case this this presentation case i don't know if, you can, if anyone's ever had the pleasure of trying to open one before it's a serious block of wood there. Like it's a serious, serious piece of kit. Um, it is very heavy. It's all sort of inlay. It's all got, like, it's perfect. The amount of work and detail and thought that went into this was sublime, you know? Um, and now we all get to enjoy it many years later. It's it's a chunky bit of kit. Um, it's all gold inlay. It's, it's fantastic. It's one of the best whiskeys presentations wise I've made in a long time. And um, this, originally retailed at 4,000 euros and then it went up to 6,000 then I remember seeing it in uh, Terminal 2 in Dublin Airport um, around 2014 2015 for about 10,000 euros a bottle which is crazy it was crazy it was madness at the time for a bottle of whiskey especially Irish whiskey but now you're paying anywhere from 20 to 24,000 for that bottle if you could find one at auction we don't have all that many come up probably sell only a handful if we're lucky a year and they're great bottles when they do come up and this one also comes with a 50 mil miniature which uh, i'm sure you've seen on our auctions before and um, there is a couple of open bottles of these throughout the country but only very prestigious places so it's not something you're going to find easy and there has been a few opened unfortunately one was also broke so how many are opened how many are not opened and available to sell we're just not sure not that many but that's definitely an attractive one if you look at the current price of a ruby which is the the, the 10 year old or the, the 10 years later edition of this the 40th anniversary it's twenty thousand euros 
this one's 20 24 it represents great value for money you know it, it's super rare the ruby is 550 balls this is 116 and whatever else is drank so again it's it's definitely one to look out for if you have that kind of money lying around and you want to put something in to the investment pot um these three over here i just thought i'd mention them um not something we see every month but definitely i think again irish whiskey legacy bottles are not that appreciated and um, this is a, a what we call a screw cap green spot um they do come up now and then but a lot of them have been open and enjoyed there's not going to be that many around in the near future and um, this is a an earlier edition of a green spot you've got the old logo as you can see there and um, green spot been around for donkey's years and um, i think they rebranded mitchell's rebranded it into the green spot range in the 1930s so again there is a few decades of them but there's not that many bottles of anyway and um, again you have the middleton whiskey there you can see on this bottle it's missing its e which was how they spelled it back in the time and uh, a fantastic condition bottle uh, you do see old bottles that are in that condition but not all too often so again when you see them and you want something different that's something we suspect you know it's relatively cheap to buy now and it will hold its value and if not give you a, a pretty good return in the future that's something that should be in a museum in some way that's how clean that is and again with all our bottles we do thorough checks we always do a little bit of digging uh, we see red flags we ask questions we authenticate every single bottle that goes into our auction so you can buy with confidence with us uh, every month we we reject certain bottles for various different reasons it's uh don't take any slight against it if we ring you up and say we can't accept the bottle for any reason we're just doing what's right by for you and by our buyers so again if uh, you have any questions about the bottles you can give us a call give us an email we can send you extra photos don't ever be afraid to ask questions about something especially when it comes to these older bottles you know there's too much money in irish whiskey these days for people not to try and exploit a system so that's why we do so many checks and that's why we're always open about you know doing the right thing by both buyers and sellers so yeah that's it uh, if you have any questions give us a call uh, drop us a message on our socials and uh, take care